We haven't heard from Grissom since he went out to Desert Gardens. His cell phone's down, he hasn't checked in. Gil can be eccentric, but frankly, this has me worried. On top of which, Lita Callisto has been making some oddball remarks about Grissom to the guards at the jail. You helped nail Lita, so this is your case. Yours and Catherine's. She's got the tenure and experience you can lean on. Now, either start with the Desert Gardens, or go to Lita's apartment. We need to find out more about the enigmatic Miss Callisto, and we need to find Gil Grissom, period. We've run her, found no priors, not even a damn speeding ticket. Check her apartment. Maybe you'll come up with more than we did. For what little good it did, yes. She's recently used an acid-based compound to burn off the core ridge details of her fingers. No unique scarring, either. Best we got out of her is partial, so naturally Aphis spit him back out as unknown. She keeps dropping cute, oblique hints that don't add up to anything much, just enough to amuse herself. My gut says, that witch knows plenty. Ah, uh, it's the geniuses of CSI. Missing something? Mislay someone? Please, let me know what I can do to be of assistance. It's too bad you're not serious, because that might help your situation. I'm enjoying my situation. I'm content in my own company, and my needs are simple. And as for entertainment, I can picture your frantic efforts to recover your fearless leader. That's quite sufficient to pleasantly pass the time. You may not have that much. Nevada has the death penalty. You might consider cooperating. You know, I could tell you, but I have far too much consideration for your position. You see, if people like me just went around admitting things, you'd be out of a job. Well, I didn't kill him. Yet. Wouldn't it be interesting, though, if you could sit in a cell like this and still murder someone miles away? I would never spoil the theory you work so hard to develop. It's like when a child does a finger painting, you don't point out the deficiencies. It's unkind. Whoa, lot of stuff in here. Let's get started. Greasy substance smeared here. Got kind of a medicinal smell, wouldn't you say? Broken spine indicates a favorite passage, or at least a stopping point, by the reader. It's a passage about the Greek tradition of burying loved ones with a silver coin in the mouth. Payment for the ferryman. Hear that before? Cap shut tight on a bottle of unidentified liquid. Casino chips. Didn't Sophia have a couple of these stuffed in her mouth? It's got one of those prepaid phone cards you get at convenience stores. Didn't Lita make a call after dropping the Benedetti woman's body off? No prints worth lifting. Phones don't get cleaned, and there's always overlapping prints. Can't pull enough points for proper comparison. Old photo album. Story of somebody's life. Set of prints, old album like this, could have been here a while. Looks like something used to be under here. Traces of the image bled onto the laminate. Newspaper clipping, maybe. 
Greg should be able to analyze this, maybe even enhance the image. Would appear Lita was rather selectively getting rid of certain papers. One looks like a car key, but the other just can't be sure. Some worn down markings on it, but can't make out what it said. Not much left here. Wonder if there's anything it can still tell us. set of prints on it, only they don't seem to be very complete. Date and page number are still visible. Maybe we can locate the original article. Burned badly. Can't make out anything it said. Catherine Willows, Las Vegas Crime Lab. My associate was out here earlier, you'll recall. We're continuing our investigation, and we have some questions. Who knows? Maybe I'll have some answers. Grissom would be right at home with these creepy crawlies. Ground's a little soft here. Wet. Underground sprinklers must have come on recently. Got an impact here. Tiny traces of paint. Based on height and proximity to the road? Vehicle impact, wouldn't you say? These look like fresh tire tracks to you? Wide, like a truck's. And Lita used a truck before. Notice how the tread's been compromised? Whoever peeled out of here must have been in a hurry. Loose dirt was thrown back over their own tread marks. What evidence? I didn't call anybody. I sure didn't call the cops. A call wasn't placed from here to our crime lab less than a half an hour ago. Lady, our staff went home after you people wrapped up that other investigation. I'm the only one still working. You're looking at the only night crawler left in this garden. No, been real quiet. Few drive throughs few pedestrians strolling by. Nothing unusual. No, ma'am. You know, once it starts getting dark, you don't get a very good look at people coming around here. Sometimes you don't want to. Afraid not. Wish I could have helped you out some more. We got a code red, Greg. Grissom's gone missing, possibly abducted. Okay, Kath. Everything else goes on the back burner. I won't be happy till Grissom's standing there humiliating me again. Lucky for you, you didn't open this up and catch a whiff. Chloroform. Enough missing to knock somebody out? Absolutely. Once inhaled, the chemical enters the bloodstream through the lungs, unaltered by the liver. Reaches the brain in seconds, and it's sleepy time. Casino chips. Nothing special about them. This is one of those prepaid cell phones. No way to check the owner, and the memory was cleared. Software recovery tools came up with a big fat goose egg. The laminate bore traces of newspaper ink transferred from the article that used to be underneath it. I enhanced the image and found a wedding photo. 
And guess who is the blushing bride? Lita. Oh yeah, our Looney Tunes killer, on her way to her honeymoon. Somebody was a lucky guy, huh? No man was living in that apartment, so we can assume a breakup. But Callisto may be Lita's married name. This key matches the type used by a few truck manufacturers. That's all I can tell you about it. The markings on the key were worn down, but I enhanced them. Here's the lucky number, 10072. Even Gil Grissom would keep his distance from these bugs. What we have here is a blowfly larva with a taste for living flesh. Cochleomia hominivorax, the human eater. Dangerous? The 150 or so people killed by him over the years would say so. But these things are uncommon. Eradicated in the States back in the 50s, though you can still turn them up in Mexico and points farther south. Anybody studying or researching them around here you know of? Not in Vegas, nowhere recently. University of Nebraska a couple years back did some cryopreservation research. See how long you could freeze the larva without killing them. Not what I'd keep in the kitchen freezer. Okay, it's newsprint, and the date and page number are visible. You'll need to do a Lexis search for the article. By stabilizing the charred remains of the document with the pyrrolene polymer treatment, I could run latent lifting processes on it without destroying the ashes. It's an apparent suicide note, and get this, written on Champagne Hotel stationery. Champagne Hotel? As in the Yardstrom case, Grissom worked? None other. Brass needs to know about this. Medicated skin cream. Calcium gluconate gel. Topical antidote to treat hydrofluoric acid burns. Like someone with access to a pharmacy. Automobile paint. Fairly common color, particularly on current truck series. Lita used Dr. Wilkinson's truck in the Sofia Benedetti case. I'm sure that's no coincidence. Good news is we got a complete set of prints on the photo album. Bad news is no hits on the APHIS database. Partials, damn. No match to anything in the database, either. Now, these partials are consistent in key areas with the photo album prints. We may have Lita's pre-acid bath fingerprints here. Size 10, Gill's size, and it matches his brand. Good bet these are his footprints. Nothing definitive. We need a better comparison. Now this is something. Subject of the original article, Sophia Benedetti. Charged with possession of controlled substances a few years back, but we found no record on her before. Hmm. Yes? Well, she doesn't have a Nevada wedding certificate, but I can do some out-of-state digging. Gutter. Murphy. Lita Murphy. Most people come to Vegas to get hitched. She left to do the job. Why not ask me to search all the Jones, Smiths, and Johnsons, too? Get a little more specific, and maybe I can help you. 
All you have is that suicide note on hotel stationery. Sorry, that's just too thin. What I can do is let you look at some of the evidence from the Yardstrom and Benedetti cases. Here's the murder weapon, the ligature. Maybe there's something more to learn. Aphis came up blank on these partials from the medicine bottle in Kylie's apartment. Here's the casino chips we found in Sophia's mouth. That Greek money angle may make them significant. Here's the money we found in Kylie's mouth. Too many overlapping prints for us to get anything useful. That's enough to get you started anyway. Build a stronger link to Lita and I'll get that hotel reopened for you. Sure, I'll get you the prints from the garage you lifted. Those look like the best ones. Eat. The fingerprints on the medicine bottle match the ones on the photo album, so Lita dispensed these meds to Kylie before giving her fingertips the acid treatment. We've only got a partial match here. Okay, now we have a match. Wilkinson's truck made a return trip to the scene of the crime. Okay, how about a workable theory about what's become of Gil? Well, after Lita was questioned at the pharmacy, Grissom got his invite out to the gardens. Right, so even in the first interview, Lita figured we were on to her. Pretending to work at the gardens, she calls Gill, reports new evidence to perk his interest. She borrows Wilkinson's truck, lays in some of these flesh-eating bugs, and parks in the gardens. Waits out of sight. When Gill arrives, he spots the truck, checks it out, spots the insects, and has a typically grisome closer look. Lita, dressed like a worker maybe, chloroforms him from behind. There's a struggle. A few bugs get jostled from the truck. Lita holds her rag over Gill's face till he's out. The ligature has traces of that same cream from Lita's apartment calcium gluconate gel with heavy aloe vera. That cream was not over the counter, it was homemade. This may get us back into that hotel. These chips match the type you turned up at Lita's crib. I ran a bunch of different tests, didn't come up with anything. Sorry guys. What can I do for you? Prints on Lita's photo album match those on Kylie's medicine bottle, and Lita's medicinal cream is on the murder weapon. Yeah, that'll fly. I know a judge who'll give us the warrant we need. Treads match, huh? Good enough for me. Go. Back again. More trouble, or you want info on my weekend package? This is my first time to your lovely establishment. Catherine Willow's criminalist, Vegas Crime Lab. Well, it's not the first time for your partner there. By sport, we kind of bonded. When I was getting pelted with questions about that Kylie brought getting bumped. Yes, well, that's very touching. 
What is this? A recurring nightmare? Read my lips. Only person I saw was Kylie. She stuck with the same room. It was the guys that was always different. This some kind of joke? One of them hidden camera shows? Look, I told you everything I know already. Now, if you don't mind. So, Kylie used this room all the time, and the manager says he didn't see anyone come out the door, but doors aren't the only way you can get into a room. Check out the fire escape. A Juliet could let a lot of Romeos in that way. It's also a great peeping Tom perch. Could somebody have seen what went down in this room? Someone hanging out on the fire escape, then entering the room, might have put their hands down right here. What do you need? It's our ever-popular calcium gluconate and aloe vera mix. Which puts Lita on the fire escape at some point, and also puts her in the hotel room via that entry. Obviously, Lita and Kylie are acquainted. Lita learns Kylie's going to the hotel, to her favorite room, which Lita stakes out from the fire escape landing. Lita waits for the couple to finish their fun. She doesn't even bother with gloves. Look, Ma, no fingertips. Devin exits. Kylie heads into the bathroom. Lita climbs in, tears the cloth, getting some of that custom hand cream on it in the process. Kylie comes out of the bathroom. Her friend Lita jumps her, wraps the ligature around her neck, and strangles her onto the bed. With Kylie dead, Lita stages the scene, tying up the corpse, blindfolding her, leaving the way she got in. Fire escape. That's how it could have happened. But why did it happen? What's Lita's motive? All right, let's see if there's anything that was overlooked. Let's try her computer. Let's look at these appointments in terms of the evidence we've already gathered. There's a Murphy here. Lita's maiden name, Bernard Murphy. We need to check it. Let's take a printout. Hey guys, what's up? No match. But all that means is that Bernard Murphy didn't have a criminal record. Dr. Wilkinson, I'm Catherine Willows, CSI. We're picking up on the previous investigation and need to ask you a few more questions. I thought you people were holding Lita Callisto for Sophia's murder. We are, sir. And we're sorry for the trouble we've caused you. Oh, well, that makes it all better, doesn't it? You throw my life into turmoil and you tarnish my professional reputation. Why wouldn't I be thrilled to help you people out any way I can? Dr. Wilkinson, we have reason to believe Lita Callisto has committed other crimes, perhaps other murders, and we do need your cooperation. Well, all right. Anything to help keep that lunatic female locked away. Being torn various new gaping bloody orifices by my wife, thanks to you people. Still in my garage, isn't it? You need to look at it? I'll walk you back there. Anything is better than staying in the path of my wife's tongue. Well, what in the... Honestly, it was here. You had no idea it was missing? If I'd known, I'd have reported it stolen. Lita. Crazy damn. 
Yes. Yes, she could have. She must have come back for it again. Thank you, Dr. Wilkinson. We do appreciate your cooperation. We'll take it from here. Carrie who? Maybe you're thinking of Karen. Karen Yardstrom? I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 10. It's your IQ. How would that be possible? Gil Grissom is so brilliant. One of the top CSIs in the nation. Surely a mere slip of a thing like myself couldn't trap him using a few bugs as bait and reel him in. Not a big fish like Gilman. Yes? I'll give it a shot. Well, a Bernard Murphy worked at the Washu County Crime Lab some years back. Let's bring his file and see. Dismissed a few years ago for breaking evidentiary collection procedures. Whoa! His dismissal involved a drug raid at Sophia Benedetti's home. And... Oh, man! Guess who was called as a procedural expert at Murphy's disciplinary hearing? Gil Grissom. I can see if there's any record of him. Holy... Bernard Murphy committed suicide last week. I'll send out an APB right now. Maybe somebody will spot it and it'll lead us to Gil. What a triumph for you, to have figured that out, and it only took you forever. Well, isn't that obvious, considering present company, because of the incompetence of this place, and its subpar staff? From what we hear, it was your father's incompetence that got him dismissed. My father was a brilliant man, a dedicated, underappreciated investigator who misguidedly gave his life to this job. And look at the competence of his peers. Sad. It's just sad. Really? Then what was the real reason for his dismissal? Politics, corruption, the well-connected Mr. Benedetti. He wanted his daughter to walk, so he paid some of Vegas's finest to tamper with the evidence. Got the case thrown out. In the process, my father was framed into taking the fall. I can assure you this department would thoroughly look into such a thing. Your precious Grissom was there. Did he look into it? He has no feel. No feelings for the human species. We're less than bugs to him. Literally. And no one wanted to stand up to Benedetti. That left my father to take the blame. My father was everything to me. The only one who understood me. The only person on this earth I was ever close to. And now he's gone. Forever. Job well done, CSI. He took his own life. And it was not over the job he lost, but the woman he lost. If the people around him here at CSI had stood up for him, given him the benefit of the doubt, he wouldn't be driven into the arms of that showgirl slut. He'd be alive today showing all of you how to do this job. I lost my father because Benedetti's daughter was a crack addict and Papa was covering up for baby. My father took the fall for that poor little rich junkie. And that's why you killed her? I don't remember saying I killed her. I will point out that the scales of justice have achieved a certain ironic balance. I lost my father. Benedetti lost his daughter. Thanks to that APB on Wilkinson's truck, a patrol officer spotted a vehicle of that description heading into a U-Keep self-storage lot. But that's several hundred storage rooms, and I can only get a warrant for one specific room. I'm ahead of you on this one. Grissom believed the evidence might have been tampered with and went on record as to Murphy's possible innocence. But the mayor at that time buried Grissom's report, most likely due to the Benedetti family's influence. I can give the company a call. They do have a locker registered to that key number. 
But it might just be a coincidence. It's Unit 417. Let's hope your theory is correct. You can lie and try to manipulate the truth all you want. Gil Grissom sold my father out. The biggest irony of all, if a CSI of my father's abilities were here, he'd find Grissom. Maybe you'll find him too. Someday. What can I do for you? Can't do it unless you get me more info from the key itself. I have nothing more to say to you. I can't help you until you find some solid evidence. Gate's locked. Can't force entry without a warrant, so we have to find a link between Lita and these lockers, and fast. We can try the key we found in Lita's apartment. If it's a locker key, maybe it'll also open the front gate. There it is, over there, Unit 417. This could be it. Let's try the key on it. It's jammed. Hey. Hey. I'm in here. Did you hear that? There's someone inside. It's gotta be Grissom. Let's find something to pry the door open with. This might be good to get some leverage on the door. We'll still need something else from around here to use this with. We can use this as a fulcrum. Let's take it. Great. We can use these to pry the door open now. Those bugs, the flesh eaters, they're all over him. Kath? Ka Catherine? Gil, we're here. Everything's all right. Lita, the, uh... The Benedetti case. Murphy was fired because... I know, Gil. For once, I'm way ahead of you. You saved my life. I had help. Our newbie here came through big time. Sure did. I think, uh... Maybe we can declare your... probation period over. Well, you could say we worked the bugs out. And now we'll be going to the hospital, Mr. Grissom. We're gonna check you out like the walking crime scene you are. It's time for your evaluation. I've spoken to your fellow CSIs. Sarah, Nick, Warwick, Catherine all give you high marks. Greg and Doc Robbins are also impressed. Devin Rogers is a free man now, cleared of any involvement in the Kylie Yardstrom killing. As for me, well, let's say I'm glad you were on the Callisto case. Yes, Jim. Yes. Really? I'll be right there. It never ends. You investigated every possible angle on this case. It doesn't happen often. I'm impressed. 